friends, welcome back to Bev's Library. I'm Heather, and today we are going to start a vlog for Rom Comathon. So this I saw over on Michelle's Library's channel, and I really enjoy watching her videos, so you should definitely check her out. I will make sure her video is linked down below for you guys. Um, if she has a vlog up before I do, I will put that one, otherwise I'll put the announcement video for this. and. You know, you guys can check that out. But she does a lot of really fun vlogs that I really like to watch and stuff like that. So check her out. Also, before we totally jump into all of the stuff, get down below, click subscribe. Also, my Instagram and Goodreads and Storygraph are all linked down below for you guys if you want to also check out and talk bookish on those other channels with me. I'd love to have you guys. So I figured we'd run through really quick what I think I might be reading and some of the prompts and, you know, chat about that and then Honestly, not a re lot of reading is going to start in these first few days because I'm going to be working, but hopefully over the weekend I will get to some of the reading as well as the other prompts because they do have some other fun prompts as well. So the first thing is to read the group book, which I'm probably not going to do, so we're going to skip that one. Um, like I said, I only have like half of this week to actually read, so I've only got a couple things that I'm going to be picking up. And then I also didn't find a book with either of the host favorite colors, which were yellow or green on it, so we're just kind of going to ignore that one as well and move on to prompt number three. And that was to read a backlist book, and I'm going to reread The Love Hypothesis. My book club, The Tilted Kettle Book Club is reading this this month and I was like, well, maybe I will reread it because I just love and adore this one. So we're going to be getting into The Love Hypothesis and just doing a quick reread. Um, this one we're following our main character and we've got some fake dating going on with kind of like he's a professor at the school. She is a grad student, but they don't work together. So there's no weird stuff going on with that. Uh, but yeah, it's really adorably cute, and we'll talk more as I get into it. The other thing is to read a book with your fave trope, and that for me is Grump's Sunshine. So I'm going to be reading Truth or Beard, and this one seems like super fun. Um, and it's got like these two twins, and the one girl thinks that she likes one of the twins, but really she likes the other one, and realizes it, and they're a little cute romance. So we'll get into that one more as we go as well. I'm going to be listening to that one on audiobook. So those are my two main reads I'm going to try and get through in this vlog. If we end up with more time, then we'll see where that goes. But we do have a couple other fun prompts. So one is to eat a comforting food while reading. So we'll be doing that. Um, also to treat yourself. So whatever that might look like. I'm thinking maybe a face mask or I'll do my nails again or, you know, I don't know. Just kind of relax. I don't know if I have any candles, but that kind of sounds nice if I can find a candle and just light a candle while I'm reading. And the last thing is to join some sprints. So I did check to see when they are doing sprints and there is only one where I'm like going to be one awake because some of them are like super, super early in the morning, like 4 a.m. or something crazy like that, um, which is probably great for other people in other areas, but not for me. And then uh, one of them is while I'm working. So there's one other one that I'm hoping to get to at the very end of the readathon. So I'm going to really try to get on those sprints because, you know, I don't get on those a lot, but I would like to kind of change that up. So that's kind of the general gist of where we're going with this readathon. I'm excited to be reading some romance and, you know, just kind of hanging out with everybody and doing that thing. So I am done with my long few days of work, uh, 12 hour days, like you literally just do nothing else except for work. So that is done and over with. And my day is starting to wind down, so I'm sitting here reading The Love Hypothesis a little bit. My dog is being... I don't know what he's trying... He wants to be down here, he wants to be up there, and he's having a hard time with stairs because his little back is, like, still mending, and... Oh my goodness, he's too funny. He figured it out. Okay. Anyways, um, today I was busy most of the day. 
I uh, went to my daughter's first little game where she was doing cheer. It was so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, it was so cute to watch her do her little cheers. They're doing it for flag football because she is only seven and oh my gosh, just adorable. So anyways, so that was really fun. And then me and my husband, we went to Lowe's and got a few things to um, put together our dishwasher. We got a new dishwasher. And then also we got a new bed frame and a box spring and stuff. And so we kind of worked on that. So got some, you know, house stuff happening today. And now it's just chill time and it's time to read some rom-coms because it's rom com -a and we need some of that love going on. Uh, I do have a little treat yourself type thing. Uh, I know one of the prompts was, one of the prompts was to like eat a comforting food, which for me, I this is what I was thinking I was throwing in there because I don't usually drink these a ton, but like, I'm so ready for fall, beyond ready for fall. And I saw these angry orchards in the store and I was just like, oh my gosh, it makes me think of fall. I've been craving some angry orchards. So I'm drinking a little angry orchard while I'm reading. And that's kind of my little comfort food at the moment. Uh, we'll see if I end up doing something else that's, you know, kind of comforting, but I'm enjoying just having my little drink. And then what else? Um, oh, treat yourself. That might happen a little bit later. I kind of want to redo my nails. One of them fell off and, you know, they're just starting to chip a little bit. But I don't know if I'll do that tonight or tomorrow night. I am dying to get back to my audiobook, though, and that's a really good thing to do while audiobooking. I also want to put some more purple back in my hair. Uh, if you saw a couple of my videos, I had some purple in my hair. That it, It's kind of more of a temporary thing, so... I might do that again as well, but I probably will definitely do that one tomorrow. I don't think I'm doing that tonight. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll do a face mask or something. But, you know, I've got some treat yourself type ideas happening. My daughter is at grandma and grandpa's for the night, so no kids. Husband's just kind of doing his thing, playing some video games, and um, I'm reading. So, The Love Hypothesis, I am currently on page 32. I have read this adored it. It's so cute. And um, we're following Olive and she's dating this guy, Jeremy, and things just, it, like the chemistry's just not flying. But he comes for her birthday party and meets her roommate and best friend on and they just like click. But per girl code, she won't go out with him. She's like, no, I'm already dating somebody else. But then so both her and On are in the PhD biology program at Stanford, and <clears throat> she says she's out on a date with someone else. And well, <laughs> On shows up, but she actually went to work at, you know, her little lab. And so she just grabs the first person that she sees and kisses them, and it happens to be one of the other PhD professors, and not hers, but um, he's known to be kind of the ass or grump of the group and um, people just, you know, find him to be very gr cranky and awful and he, you know, has this reputation of flunking all of these different PhD candidates and stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at right now is slightly after that and um, we're going to get into kind of a fake dating arrangement between the two of them and I really enjoy fake dating. It's super fun. I'm excited to reread this one. It just is so cute. I love having the stem in here and uh, she's always really fun to follow because she just kind of like will find herself just kind of blabbering and bantering and I know I do that too and she's just very like personable I guess. Um, I can see myself in her in a lot of ways but it's just it's a really cute little romance so I'm really excited. I also started re listening to Truth or Beard the other day on the way home from work, actually to and from work, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm hooked on this. So I might do my nails tonight just because I want something to do to like get myself listening to that story again. Oh my goodness, it was so adorable. This one, uh, our main character, what is her name? Oh my goodness, Jessica. So Jessica, she has lived in this little town for like her whole life and then she goes away for a few years for school and she comes back home after she graduates and she's a teacher and she sees well she thinks she sees Bo which is one of the twins 
Bo and Dwayne, and she's always had a huge crush on Bo. And then they have this uh, really steamy kiss. And then he's like, huh, just kidding. Like, we have to stop here. I'm not Bo, I'm Dwayne. And Dwayne, she's always like argued with him and cranky with, and she's just like, flips her on her head because she's just like, wait, what just happened? And she's like, maybe I'm into Dwayne now. And, um, so it's going to be like a fun little romance. But oh my gosh, it is so cute and funny so far. And I am adoring it. And I'm probably maybe 10% in. So I'm not really that far into it. But dying to get back to it already. Like it snagged me so fast. So that's kind of what's happening right now, guys. All right, guys. Sunday afternoon. I'm treating myself. Obviously, I didn't have gloves. So we're going to ignore my hands. But purple hair happening. Face mask on. And I have been listening all morning to Truth or Beard and I am adoring it. I'm like 70% in, super, super stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I have like Oompa Loompa fingers. I promise you this is gonna come off in the shower. Ah, <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I, uh, I'm just, I'm adoring it. I think that Jessica and Dwayne are just meant to be together and I really hope they figure out there are other issues because they are just so cute and they're both just good people. Just, I don't know. I'm just gonna gonna say that I'm loving it and uh, I can't wait to finish it. So there it is. Also, here's little Mel. She's laying on the new bed. Wanted to show you guys. We got the new frame and we got a new box spring for it. Um, so, yep. And there's your cool puppy. She's been doing pretty good. We're potty training good, huh? You just like to chew. We gotta get you some good chew toys. That's what needs to happen. And we actually have the Molly out. She's rarely out. A little cutie cutie. And in our laundry hamper is our other cat because I don't know why she likes that. But anyways, that's my little pet update for you guys. I don't know where the Timmy's at. He's he's hiding somewhere. Okay. We're ignoring the fact that I look a little bit like a wet dog because um, I just got out of the shower, but I just had to really quickly say that something just happened in Truth or Beard and not so thrilled with Dwayne and how he's handling things, okay? So I'm going to do a smidge of a spoil spoiler here. If you haven't read this, just skip ahead or press mute until the spoiler bar is gone. So he found out some news third party about something that had happened with Jessica that she hadn't even had a chance to talk to him about and it kind of can change things about their relationship status and what's going on and just doesn't even talk to her takes it at face value and then she says she loves him for the first time and he just is like okay cool well I'm gonna talk to you later and just hangs up what like, we're just not going to talk about any of it or have any communication between the two of us. Because that is a really healthy thing about a relationship. And yet, anytime she kind of has something like that where she maybe isn't totally being completely open and honest about something, he's going to, like, push her and make her say something about it. We're going to have a conversation, but he's not going to have the same respect back for her. Not cool. Um, so, Yeah. That's kind of a bummer that, you know, we're having this miscommunication, but I still am totally rooting for them and I just still think they're really cute and I'm really enjoying the story, so I will forgive it, but I just wanted to tell you guys about it. Hey guys, all right, it's Monday morning and I just got back from a quick walk around the neighborhood, get my heart rate going, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and I just wanted to say good morning. We've got one last day of rom com -thon, and I'm going to join in on some reading sprints a little bit later on Michelle's channel. So excited about those. Um, I'm going to go cool down and kind of freshen up a little bit here and then I will update you on my reading. I did so much reading yesterday. It was a wonderful reading day. Uh, I'm loving this readathon, but I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Okay, I am all freshened up. I did a couple things like um, my nails, so they're looking a little better. And I did some laundry and dishes and just kind of, you know, got myself moving for the day. And now I'm sitting at my desk because we are going to be starting some um, sprints on Michelle's channel, who is one of the hosts for this readathon. And 
I figured while I was waiting, because we've got a few minutes, that I would just kind of update you on where I'm at with my reading. I did end up fin finishing Truth or Beard last night, and oh my gosh, I loved it. It was super cute. I will say, I mean, there was a little bit of some, you know, miscommunication issues that, like, were a little frustrating. There was another scene after the one I talked to you guys about that I was like, all right, you're about to piss me off, and I really don't want to go this direction. But then it kind of like came back around. So I was happy and I really want to just keep going through these books. Like I'm like, can I just throw out my TBR that I just did for Book Off With On and everything else and just like, just go through these books because that's kind of what I want to do right now. But anyways, we're not going to do that. We are going to, uh, we are going to keep to my TBR. But I probably will try to speed some of those books in soon because it was adorable. I'm thinking I have it running through Copile for my rating, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a four and a half. I don't think it was a perfect five just because it had a couple of those moments, but it gave me the butterflies and I really enjoyed it. And I just can't wait to continue the series. So really love that one. I'm adoring this readathon right now. I'm having so much fun with it. Just like relaxing, taking care of myself, reading some awesome romance books. Like it's, it's good vibes right now. I also have been reading more of The Love Hypothesis last night. Um, so I am a little over 100 pages in. I'm on chapter 7. And uh, I, I don't know that I have a ton more thoughts on this one. Since I have read it, I know where it's going. It's taking me a little bit to get into it, but I am starting to really get into the story again and just remember them. Um, I love Olive's kind of quirkiness and Adam's just very flat face stern you know but like you can tell that he's got more to him that we're just gonna be cracking open soon and I'm excited to see that so I'm enjoying their story it's a fun time I'm gonna keep reading it during sprints and I'm also going to try and work on I would like to do a little bit of filming today so I need to plan some of my video plans and see I have what videos I need to make but I need to just kind of organize myself a little bit with them but that's kind of what's happening so we're going to take a small break and do some reading sprints and read a little bit more and see how the day goes and hopefully I'll be able to actually finish this today although I'm not sure that I will I'm just not reading that fast with physical books at the moment and I have a ton of stuff on my to-do list today uh, my daughter has cheer practice later tonight. I've got to run to the store. I don't know. My planner, like, today is just, like, full from top to bottom with just stuff, which hasn't happened in quite a while. Um, my husband started a new job today, so I think that's part of it. It's I'm kind of, like, stepping in and taking over a few things that usually he would just take care of. So we'll see how the day goes, but I am going to read for a little bit on the sprints and kind of enjoy some of that and take a little break. It'll be, like, my little lunch break, and then I'll get back to to do and all the other life things. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. The readathon is over and I actually finished this last night. I was not sure that I was going to be able to have enough time to because I still had a couple hundred pages yesterday to read, but I did it. I managed to just fly through this last night and I just I had so much fun rereading it. Um, this was such a wonderful readathon. I absolutely adored just sitting and reading all these fun contemporary romances and also kind of enjoying some of those other prompts that were just like hey let's chill out let's having some comforting food let's you know treat yourself to something and i just i loved that combination of the two it worked out so well so thank you to michelle and Eva for putting this together you guys did an amazing job but the Love Hypothesis, if you have not picked it up, is so cute and so good. I actually just saw that on Book of the Month that they have her next book. And I was just like, yep, that's the one I'm doing. It's called Love on the Brain. So excited to see what her next book's going to be all about. Um, I haven't read any of the novellas yet, but I've got her next novel on the way. So in this one, something that was kind of fun and different that I picked up on with my reread was I didn't remember how many fun little like kind of inside jokey things that they had together, which I thought was so cute. Um, like she makes fun of him for being old 
and decrepit just because he's in his 30s and she's like still in her 20s. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. And like there's just a few other little things like she loves all those super sugary Starbucks drinks and he makes fun of her for that. And he ma she makes fun of him for always just having a plain black coffee. Um, just like it was cute. And they would just like kind of make those little jokes throughout. And it just like showed that, you know, they were getting to know each other and could have that little like teasing fun together. And I just thought that was really fun and adorable and something I caught on to this time that I did not last time. <laughs> These dogs through this whole weekend have been ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what they're barking at now. Uh, anyways, so yes, loved this one. Loved Truth or Beard. Oh my gosh, I need to continue in that series so very much. I just, yeah, so much fun. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment with reading and everything. And I just, I had a blast with this readathon. And I hope that if you guys have participated, you will let me know because I would love to hear what you guys read. What was your favorite thing? If you have a vlog out, um, if you're on booktube here, I would love to watch it. So just let me know down below. And if you made it this far and you don't feel like chatting, you can put some little heart emojis down there. And I would just love to know that you've been here and I will talk to you guys later. And you guys have an absolutely wonderful day, week, month, all of it. Bye guys.